Hey everyone, I am back with another Plum Planner mini haul. I was so happy with all of the things I got from my last mini haul that I decided to do a second one. I should probably stop shopping, but I just really love everything that I've ordered from them. And it's all very functional, like it's pretty, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, that's pretty, and then I never use it. I wind up using all of it. So anyway, I got some stickers, a mini calendar, and a notepad, and I wanna show all of it to you. First, let's start with this mini calendar. This was $12, but they have another one that is so beautiful. Beautiful. It's 15 and I was thinking about getting it, but it's really busy and what I like to do with these type of calendars Let me show it to you actually first of all So it comes with this little wooden block here and the wooden block sits on your desk And then you put these calendars in there So it just sits in there and you can look at it at a glance. Well, I use these a little bit differently I actually do have one just like this. I personalized it from Shutterfly and I love it because it's just got pictures of all the people that I love so much and so that's what sits on my desk and I will look at. But what I like to do with these types of calendars is take all of the months and just hang them up on a bulletin board or even tape them together and have them all hanging up so that it's sort of like one at a glance 2022 calendar, which is really helpful because, you know, while you're at work, sometimes you're working with people, you're in meetings, you're doing all sorts of things, you know, depending on your job. And if you're planning for a few months out, a few weeks out, maybe you work in a seasonal job where you're talking about something in the spring, but the events or the happenings might be in the fall, you're kind of wondering like, what day of the week does September fifth fall on or September 18th or October 20th you know you're thinking of fall dates and you need to just do a quick at a glance and you don't constantly want to be scrolling through your phone it's just so easy so I got these and like I said the other ones were a little bit busier so pretty and had I just had the intention of leaving them on the block I think I probably would have ordered the other ones but I decided I want something simple so I absolutely love these I love that it's a Sunday to Saturday I am not a Monday to Sunday start date person I think for all intents and purposes of this that would really throw me off because I would look at it and expect it to be Sunday but it would be Monday so that would be really confusing for me but anyway there are just some great colors they're like I don't want to say bright pastels but you know March has like an aqua color April's got sort of like maybe like not quite a burnt orange but like a little coral orange you've got May is yellow and it's just really pretty so I'm excited to tape these all together hang them up maybe get a bulletin board for my new office space we just moved as you can tell there's not a lot happening here I'm working on it I mentioned this in my last video. If you have any decorating or decor advice in general, let me know, because that's something that I just like don't have like the mind for. It's just like really hard for me to kind of conceptualize and imagine what I should be hanging up in my house. Anyway, on a tangent, but if you have any advice, I would love to hear that. But when we moved, our house has this little pocket office and it is one of my absolute favorite places ever because I have spent the last year working out of our guest room. And so it's a seven by seven pocket office and I'm like not, I haven't started setting it up yet because I just want to make sure that it's perfect. So anyway, I'm really excited to buy a bulletin board and put these up just so I have an at a glance of the full year, but I just love these. It's almost like a very, if you look at this color palette, very fun, bright, summery. And I know I said pastel a moment ago. I don't think I meant pastel. I think I just meant that it was like bright without being like too much. Like it's bright without being like, I don't wanna say too vibrant. I'm doing a bad job explaining this. So basically what I'm trying to say is these colors are great. I love them. And I'll have to let you know what it looks like when I've put them all up in my office. Oh, and PS, I am always like looking for gifts for people. And I feel like this is like a super giftable thing because it just comes in this like adorable box. So if you need a little gift for somebody, I think that this is. Super cute. Next up in my mini haul is this adorable notepad. Now you might remember in my last haul, my mini haul from Plum, I got this small one. So you can definitely see this one's a lot smaller. This is $6 and this one is 10. And I really like this. I actually thought this was gonna be a tiny bit bigger, which isn't a problem. I just like, when I got it, I was like a little surprised, but it's super cute. It's got little birds on it. It says daily things. And then there's a space for today's priorities to do notes. And then on the right side, you can put the date, my day. So just different plans you have throughout the day call email habits and water so this is again I'm always saying these things are so giftable but they are I always say too that the plum notepads are a little bit more pricey than things you'd find in the dollar section a lot of times Michael sells notepads too for like a dollar or two and there is nothing wrong with those but these just feel like a little bit better quality now there were a lot of other options too and I chose this one but I don't know maybe next time I'll get one more notepad maybe I'll make it a rule that I need to finish a notepad before I order another one but they had some adorable options. For example, they have some really cute holiday notepads. This one says, tis the season with some to-do, gift idea, and upcoming event sections. And then below that, this one is in the style of my old planner cover, which I love so much. 
It's a mini holiday planner notepad, so super cute. I also love the Blossom Daily notepad, similar to mine where there's space for to-dos, morning and afternoon, or morning and evening, meals, water activities, notes, and they just have so many other really beautiful ones. So I could definitely see myself ordering another one of these. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna use that one first and see how I like it. And lastly, I haven't bought stickers in so long, but I got some holiday stickers. So I am really excited to look at all of these fun stickers. Now, when I say holiday stickers, there's something that you need to know about me. All right, we have Halloween, fall and Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, and Christmas, okay? So when I say I like the holidays, I mean holidays from like September to December, okay? So I'm never gonna purchase Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, like, Easter, 4th of July, like anything from January to, I mean, really right up till September does not excite me or interest me. That's just me. They have a lot of adorable spring and other holiday stickers, but I was like, I know it doesn't make sense for me to buy any of these stickers right now, but I don't want the other stickers. I want these stickers. They're the best holidays. Tell me I'm wrong. What is your favorite holiday? Leave a comment below. It's Thanksgiving. Anyway, all right. So let me look at these for you one at a time real quick. Now, first thing that I will open is Halloween. And one thing that I noticed about this is it says on the back, sticker set includes two sticker sheets, one decorative and one functional. So for me, like functional stickers are like go to the dentist, laundry, payday. So I'm like really curious what a functional Halloween sticker is, but we are about to find out. So, okay, cool. All right, this makes sense. So we've got the first sheet. This is so cute. So there's like candy apples, candy, some costumes, scary movie night stickers, candy corn. Can you settle that debate? Do you like candy corn or no? I would not buy it, but if it was in front of me, I might eat some. Anyway, I know that's like a big hot topic and a big popular debate as well. So candy corn stickers, just like little spider, pumpkin spice, October, just really cute, fun, Halloween and kind of fall themed stickers. Now what they mean by functional, this makes sense to me now, is that they've got those same colors and the style looks exactly the same, but they are functional. So they've got this week, this month, today, to do, appointment, little stars, tasks. They do have one that says, I put a spell on you. I don't think that's functional, but I love it. So anyway, this is really fun. I love that you get ones where you're like, okay, I could do this decoratively, I could do this functionally, and they match. So definitely recommend the Halloween stickers. Let's keep going. I'm gonna skip ahead to Hanukkah. Now Hanukkah, I think, only comes with one sheet of stickers. And let me take a look here. Nope, I'm kidding. There are two sheets of stickers. It doesn't have that note on there about having functional, and I see why. These are Hanukkah quote stickers. So these ones are a little bit bigger. And then we have these ones that are a little bit smaller and they have like, they're like a little bit more decorative. Now it's really funny because I would say that I am like Jewish, you know what I mean? So I had a bat mitzvah, I was raised Jewish. I'm not like super, super religious, but I was talking to somebody recently who also is Jewish. And we were talking about things that are on the market around Hanukkah and about how some things you're like, is that really for Hanukkah or are you just trying to like, put a Christmas lens on Hanukkah. So anyway, I if I looked at this, I would rate these stickers like a seven or an eight out of 10. They are absolutely beautiful. I love them. You've got on here, I like these ones a little bit better because you've got dreidels, you've got happy Hanukkah, you've got a sticker for all eight nights and they're really beautiful. I really like that. You've got the golden coins, you've got, you know, you've got lockies, you've got all sorts of things here that are just beautiful. Now on this one, these quotes are a little bit like, again, like, is that a Hanukkah quote? Like some of these are really beautiful. Like as your menorah glows with light, may all eight days be warm and bright. I like that, right? But then like, oi to the world, that's just joy to the world, but oi, or like deck the halls with matzo balls. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, it's fine. I'm not like upset or anything. I'm just like the, the it's lit thing with the menorah. Again, that's fine. <laughs> the you spin me right round with the dreidel. Anyway, it's fine. You know, it's, it's just one of those things where it's funny, but I will say overall, I really do love these Hanukkah stickers. And I just think that this page is my favorite because these are so easy to put in your planner on all of the different days because they're tiny. So I really like these ones. Next up, I'm gonna do Christmas stickers. Now this is similar to Halloween where they have the decorative and functional. So I'm really excited to see them. All right, let's see here. Okay, so same thing as Halloween, you get those beautiful decoratives. So we've got ones that have sleighs, cookies, fireplace, just really cute, like deck the halls, ornaments. It's just adorable. I really like this. Now, 
for the functional, it's the same thing. And I actually like that they've got like some blues and golds in addition to the red and green. But there are some little don't forget, event, order, shop, just some general stickers. So these would pair really nicely together. I think that they are super cute. And lastly, I have the Thanksgiving stickers, which I save for last because Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Honestly, I really feel like November is the best month of the year. And if you disagree, you're wrong. I'm kidding. But honestly, I really love November because it is that perfect time of year where it's like halfway between fall festivities and winter festivities. So like, do you want a pumpkin spice latte or do you want a peppermint latte? Either is fine in November. It is just the best time of year. So you're still enjoying all of the fall things, but you're not stressed from like it being like the third week of December. So anyway, I love, love, love November. Anyway, these are super cute. So you've got cooking time. I feel like I've said that a thousand times. They're super cute, but it's because they are. So you have cooking time, groceries, some reminders to go shopping, pumpkins, turkey, family, gather, pumpkin pie, sale, shop, just really, really fun stickers. You've got some game time, Friendsgiving, that's always a fun one. And then just like the other ones, the functional stickers match. So you've got some leaves on those tab stickers, you've got menu, shopping, a couple different shopping ones actually. Don't forget events, grocery lists, just a lot of things that will be functional as you're making plans for that time of year. So super fun. Really all of these are great. And if you're looking to get some of these, I will say I think that it's order three accessories and then you get 15% off. I haven't bought stickers in so long and these aren't going to be able to be used for a while because they're probably like maybe good for six months from now. But honestly, it's just fun to get new stickers. I used to get the Happy Planner ones all the time and they're really good. I would get them when they went on sale for like 12 bucks. But the problem is that I would use a couple sheets, put it away and then get a new sticker book. And I would repeat this forever. So I had like 20 sticker books and I wasn't using them. So I was like, no more stickers. No more stickers and no more washi tape either because I like washi tape. I've done a couple videos on that as well and it's fun, but I just don't think it's something that I use enough to justify getting more and more and more of it. So anyway, it was fun to get these stickers, so I'll be excited to use these later on in the year. Anyway, thanks for watching my other mini plum planner unboxing. I had decided to get a couple more things. I think I'm good for now. I have two notepads, my planner, a bunch of stickers, my mini calendar, a notebook. So I, I think I'm done plum shopping for at least a couple months. Of course, if there's anything that you recommend, any items that you've got from them that you're just like, I absolutely love this, can't recommend it enough, leave it in the comments below so I could check it out because, you know, I'm always looking for different things to review and different things to add to my office collection. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.